Let's check back in with Brett about the situation with the protest near O'Hare. Brett? Thanks, Robin. Yeah, we are now know that there's still two lanes blocked here outbound on I-190 as you approach O'Hare. Pro-Palestinian protesters were sitting and crossing uh, the entire roadway there, blocking all lanes. Now police were able to get at least a couple of lanes open. Uh, passengers trying to catch flights this morning had to get out of their cars and go to the terminal and walk, I should say, in order to be able to catch their flight. You could see traffic still basically at a standstill despite those two lanes being do two lanes, excuse me, being open. We do know just learning a little bit more about the organization of this protest is that uh, a big bottom line of it with it being tax day here, April 15th, they want to send a message of do Americans know quote from this flyer where their tax dollars are going in regards to what's going on between uh, Gaza, Palestine, as well as Israel. So a viewer sent us these photos. Uh, thank you for those of you who've been sending them in just to give us a glimpse of what's been going on here. Uh, just kind of scrolling through. This is just a quick glimpse here of the fact that people were sitting across the entire roadway there outbound on I-190. They had their arms kind of bound together uh, across the roadway there with police on scene with this message, this pro-Palestinian message that they're trying to send here today. Again, two lanes are now open, so traffic is starting to slowly move, but this it, at least seven to eight mile backup still remains with these residual delays and police still trying to clear the area. So just giving you a heads up if you are trying to head out of O'Hare this morning. We'll continue to update you, especially in our midday news here this afternoon. Larry.